welcome to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. I'm your host, Deborah Asbury. Today's program comes to you in part by Privy Etiquette and Protocol. Owner operator Sherry Graham, a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunities. Also by a novel thing, Christian romance novels that inspire author Lucy Heath. After years of struggling with being overweight, our guests today have learned what it takes to lose weight and keep it off. Do you want to know the secret? Stay with us, we'll be right back. Today's guests are husband and wife, along with being co-owners of the Weight Loss Connection Transformation Center, which is located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Their mission is to help others live healthy lifestyles and become the best version of themselves by using faith, food, fitness, and focus that strengthens the whole person in mind, body, and spirit for total transformation. Welcome to Kingdom One Live, Vicki and Carl Clark. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank you. I'm just so excited to have you all here. Yes. So we go back a few years ago. Mm -hmm. There was like um, a challenge that you all did. A friend of mine reached out to me, and mm -hmm. she said, Deborah, I was looking at Facebook, and they have this, this weight loss challenge thing. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. Yes. And I went to it, and I was part of the challenge, and then I had some issues with my foot. Mm -hmm. But the time that I was there, mm -hmm. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Awesome. Oh, so how yes. is it with you guys doing this thing together as husband and wife? Well, we love it. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's fun. We have a lot of fun um, together doing it. I yeah. noticed that. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. And y'all work well together. Yes, yeah. and we have always worked together for many years. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. for many... Okay, this is true. <laughs> I did read in your, your bios. Mm -hmm. So you had, what, two other businesses? I think you were um, a daycare... Not a daycare. A transportation for children to yes. and from school, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Kids, mm -hmm. kids are traveling is what yes. you used to have. Yes. And then you had um, Chosen Generation mm -hmm. That's correct. Um, Christian, Christian Academy. Academy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we served that um, business for 20 two years. Yeah. And, 20, oh, that's and, a long time. Yeah, but we served what that made you transition? What made you transition from that to now weight loss and fitness? Well, because during those years, we focused so much on children yes. that we did not take care of ourselves. We were yeah. out of balance. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so when our children grew up and aged out, and now they're adults, uh -huh. after a while, we took a look and said, you know what? We need to really focus on us. Exactly. That makes sense. And so the weight loss connection was birthed out of our pain and our experience of being unhealthy. Uh -huh. And when we were able to go through our transformation and lose weight, uh -huh. we said, you know what? Other people need this too. We need to help others go yes. through their transformation. And wow, so that's that why- that is so amazing. It's, it's and that is the best. It's, it sounds like it's more of a, a ministry. I guess it's a combination of a business and a ministry. Yes, yes it, is it is definitely uh -huh. ministry. <laughs> how, how much weight did you guys lose between yourselves? Okay. Well, well I lost um, 50 pounds myself. And um, Vicki, she lost uh, 100, 100 pounds on her journey. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. Yeah, yes. and during that time, while I was learning about how the body works, okay. I, that's when I went back and got my certification for a certified health coach and a certified personal training. Oh, wow. So I got those two certifications, and then my third one is with Revelation Wellness, where they teach you how to take fitness and use it as a tool to spread okay. the gospel of Jesus. So oh. that was, so I got that certification as a group instructor mm -hmm. um, as well. And I'm glad you mentioned that. Because because I do remember when I was a part of your program a mm -hmm. few years back, mm -hmm. at the end of every workout, you would give us a scripture, 
and there was mm -hmm. like some type of, um, well, talk to me about it. Yeah, so how we incorporate faith is mm -hmm. we have the foundation of Jesus Christ, okay. his word. Yes. So every week or two weeks, we have a new scripture that we recite at the end of each class, at, mm -hmm. at the end of each tra uh, training session, and we pray. We always yes, ask God to that. help us to, to strengthen us so that we can stay focused, not get distracted. Right. You know, because when a person is trying to change their mm -hmm. lifestyle, especially after living 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 yes. years, one way, it, it, mm -hmm. it, it got to be more than just in our own abilities. Our own abilities. <laughs> and God knows we need strength. Because I tell you, for me, I can get focused. Mm -hmm. I can get the weight off and I lose weight. And it's like, mm -hmm. wow, I buy a few new clothes. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, keeping it off, that maintenance is the yes. problem. Mm -hmm. yes. So talk with us about what do you encourage uh, the people that you help to do as far as being able to maintain the weight loss? Well, that's a good uh, question because with um, our program, we have three pieces, three puzzles to the piece. And mm -hmm. you need... You need fitness, you need nutrition, and okay. you need accountability. And we do that through faith, food, fitness, and focus. But okay. if a person don't have accountability, yes. they will go back to those old habits. They, they will. They will. Yes. That average person will. It's, mm -hmm. it's too much of a lifestyle change that is needed without accountability. It is, studies show that yes. it, when a person have a, a, a professional to report to, they're mm -hmm. nine times out of 10 to hit their goal because they mm -hmm. have to report. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. and, and I think too, even just having a buddy, because mm -hmm. I, I remember the friend of mine, she and I, we were in seminary together. Mm -hmm. And so we went and worked out and that was someone that personally I could talk to and be accountable, yeah. accountable and then yes. when of, of course you as fitness trainers and instructors um, people can just reach out to you all mm -hmm. um, for accountability and I guess you probably give insights and yes. steer them to you know websites and places where they can find information mm -hmm. to be able to eat properly and yes. right well that type of thing too one thing that would, would we do differently into a regular gym, mm -hmm. because we are a transformation center. Mm -hmm. We believe that, that it starts from the inside out. And a difference is that it takes three pieces. Those three pieces mm -hmm. is woven within our program. So we don't sell gym memberships, so to speak. A right, person comes right. in and get a transformation package. I love so they're that. in a program to help them transform into yes. living healthy lifestyle. And when you talk about those three pieces, an easy way, you know, mm -hmm. with us here, Kingdom One Live, and, and being mm -hmm. a part of God's kingdom, you think about the Holy Trinity, right? Yes, yes. Okay. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. instead of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, what are those three things again? You That's... need you need fitness, nutrition, and accountability. You have to learn how to eat. The Holy Trinity of yes. working out. And you, exactly, and you need to be able to take care of your body by fitness. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, fitness is medicine to move. Mm -hmm. And you also need to report. And the Bible tells us that you need to give an account one to another. Right. Yeah, so accountability is important when a person is making those healthy Absolutely. lifestyle changes. And also the fact that, you know, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Yes. And so we have to be able to take care of our, our bodies. Right. There's so many unhealthy choices out there. There, mm -hmm. um, that just calls us to crave for more and more sugar and yes. fat and everything. Uh, I mean, everything that we don't need. Exactly. And <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely need to stick to that nutritional mm -hmm. holy trinity yes. Yes. to get to where we need to go. Yes, our Christian brothers and sisters are part of the, the most mm -hmm. um, unhealthy group Un that's out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I was there, um, there was mostly women. Mm -hmm. So with you taking, you know, like that co-partner, mm -hmm. are you drawing more men to actually yes, get we into actually, that? We actually um, have more men coming in now. And, and um, okay. it used to be with... Coming um, with their wives? Um, <laughs> no, themselves. Really? Up She's themselves. not dragging yes. them in? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like um, dragging them to church, right? right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and it was, when you were coming there, it was mostly men and their wives or, you know... Yeah, if you've seen a of. man, he's usually there with his wife. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but there's more men coming in now on their own. Because that's we, awesome. we understand, you know, as men, we need to 
stay healthy, especially to be yes. the head of the household and taking care of business. Yeah, yes. I mean, especially when you think about lifespan, yes. exactly. men versus women, the lifespan of men, unfortunately, is a lot shorter. Yes, so is. this is needed. This yes. is needed. Yes. And exactly when you think about the average age group that we have, we have about 40 plus group. Oh, we great. Have a, we have a few 20 and 30s, but it's mostly 40, 50, 60, and 70 year olds in our program. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to get ready and take a break. When mm -hmm. we come back, I want you all to just kind of show us like a fitness routine that you can do at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, they, you know, feel like, oh, God, I can't get to the gym. I can't get in shape. So we'll do just a little something, a little demonstration when we get back. All right. Okay. All right. Stay with us. More of Vicki and Carl Clark when we we get back. Eve introduced her readers to the Amish community in 2012 with the novel Rachel's Forbidden Love. She believes chivalry is not dead and every woman yearns for the passionate woo of her suitor. Her vivid and lifelike characters draw you into their very lives, causing you to cheer for the hero and heroine as they endeavor to find true love. Be enthralled by the mysterious intrigue as her novels keep you anticipating her character's next move. Start your journey today with these novels that read like a movie. Just as relationships evolve and grow, so should the relationship we have with God evolve and deepen. Pay attention to the little reminders God shares throughout the day. They are there for a reason. This devotion provides 52 reminders of God's love as he calls you into deeper relationship with him. With a donation of $30 or more, you will receive A Year Without Pants by Terry King Hunt. On behalf of sponsors and friends of Kingdom One Live, congratulations on a successful first season. May blessings continue to follow in season two. Privy, etiquette and protocol services that assist with professional and personal development. It's not just about forks and spoons, but a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunity. Owner, operator, Sherry Graham. And welcome back to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. So as you know, I'm here with Vicki and Carl Clark, who are part of the Weight Loss Center, Transformational Center. And they're going to give us a demonstration that you can do at home in the comfort of your living room. Now, I know they've got some prompts that look kind of fancy, but I'm sure they can tell us some ways that we can do it, maybe using cans or we can improvise a little bit at home. <laughs> so, Vicki, I'm going to let you go ahead and take it over. All right, so these are some jump rope imitations, okay? You can use a regular jump rope or you can just tweet, you know, have these in your hands and just move and okay. jump. You can just march in place. This okay. is one of the exercises we will do and demonstrate. So after we do this, w the second exercise will be with some dumbbells. So get your dumbbells, get your dumbbells. We have a squat press, a lower part of your body. So you're gonna just sit down in that squat and press up and raise your arms above your head. That's gonna be the second movement okay. that we do. So what about the, so this is five pounds. That's five pounds, you have 10. And he so, has 10. Mm -hmm. so let me... So you're good, hold them I by your ears. I too, Vicki. <laughs> no, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. Hold them by your ears. By my ears, okay. Okay, and hold them this way. There you go. And oh, just sit okay. into that squat, and then come back up, press. Good job. So that's gonna be our second move that we're gonna do in our workout. Oh, okay, that All was right? easy. Yeah, that was real easy. Okay. So you can put it down. The third move we're going to do is a sit-up. Okay. So you're gonna lie down. Lie down, do your sit up, and lie down <laughs> on your back. And do sit up. So when you lie down, go ahead and 
and just sit all the way up if you can sit up. If you're not able to sit up, an alternative, very good. I very good. I'm good yeah. at sit ups. Mm -hmm. I'm you just can... not good at push ups. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we have next. And then, oh that, and then that fourth wow. move we're going to do is the push, -ups. push up. Okay. You just simply turn over. And there's two ways to change your push up. Okay. You can do the regular way like Coach Carl is getting ready to do. And you can do it on your knees, Deborah. Okay. When you get on your knees, you can go all the way on your knees and just lower your chest down and push up. Good job. Or you Woo. can lie all the way down first on your chest. Okay. And then just push up. Okay. Yes. Let me see. That might be better. Yes, exactly. It's oh. still working. So that way you're able to do something and you're still working. You know what? I always body. hated doing these with my personal <laughs> trainer, but she didn't show me that modified. Movie. Oh, yes. Oh, well, okay. I can do that better. <laughs> yes, okay, yes. there's hope, people at home. <laughs> you're still getting the work done. Yes. All right, so now we have Alrighty. three. We have a few minutes left. We're ready to put the workout together. Yes. We're going to do them for 20 seconds, starting with the jump rope. You guys are ready? Ready? Five, four, three, two, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. March in place okay. if you want. Good job. Okay. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Or you can pick it up go. like this. Keep going. We this got 10 good. seconds, you good. guys. Just I have on my home. I mean, you know, just regular casual clothes so yeah. anyone can do this. <laughs> I guess you can do it in jeans, too. That's right. right. Yes, yes. Three, two, one, in time. Now rest for 10 seconds. Our next move is with the weight. So get okay. the weights. Got your heart rate up. Three, all righty. Two, one, let's go. Squat and press all the way up. Squat and press all the way up. Good okay. job. Putting your hips back, sitting down into that squat. Make sure your weight is in your heels okay. and you're consistently sitting and pressing. Even if you don't have any weights at home, I'm doing three, good. two, one, and time. Good wow. job. Awesome. So now put that down. We're ready for the sit up. Okay. So go ahead on and sit. Four, three, Two, one, let's go. Sit up, good job. It's only 20 seconds on and then 10 seconds off. But when you do it in a way that it is a, a number of time for working it out uh -huh. and then breaking in between, you are doing a fantastic job. Are we at time job. yet? Yes, three, <laughs> two, one, that's 20 <laughs> second time. Oh God. So now you got the push up. Okay. All right, ready? We got five, go. four, three, Two, one, 20 seconds. Let's go. Yes, good job. Perfect. Come all the way up, all the way down. You are doing such a great job, Deborah. Oh, awesome man. job. Looking I didn't good. I think I could do this. You got it. You got it. You are pushing oh, wow. your upper body up. We got five we seconds. We got 30 seconds left. Yeah, three, two, okay. one. Okay. And time. Ah! That was awesome. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, my God. That was so much fun. Wasn't it? It's full body. Yeah. That was what, five minutes? Okay. That was two minutes. We're, we're about to go to break. <laughs> okay. We're about to go to break, but this was fantastic. So as you see, this is a simple workout. We did four moves. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Three four moves. moves. Four moves. 20 just, seconds on. 20, okay. <laughs> All you gotta do is rewind and you'll see it. <laughs> we'll be right back. We're just gonna go to break right now. Thank you. Privy. Etiquette and protocol services that assist with professional and personal development. It's not just about forks and spoons, but a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunity. Owner Operator Sherry Graham. Just as relationships evolve and grow, so should the relationship we have with God evolve and deepen. Pay attention to the little reminders God shares throughout the day. They are there for a reason. This devotion provides 52 reminders of God's love as he calls you into deeper relationship with him. With a donation of $30 or more, you will receive A Year Without Pants, by Terry King Hunt. Heath introduced her readers to the Amish community in 2012 with the novel Rachel's Forbidden Love. She believes chivalry is not dead and every woman yearns for the passionate woo of her suitor. Her vivid and lifelike characters draw you into their very lives, causing you to cheer for the hero and heroine as they endeavor to find true love. 
be enthralled by the mysterious intrigue as her novels keep you anticipating her character's next move. Start your journey today with these novels that read like a movie. Hello, everyone. I, I am a little out of breath, but I'm okay after that workout. That was just a telltale sign. I'm not as in shape as I think I am, okay? But um, anyhow, before we go to the music set, to hear the Tim Williams Project Band, I do want to ask my guests, Vicki and Carl Clark with the Weight Loss Transformation Center in Stone Mountain, just to um, let everyone know how they can get some information about your center. Yes, they and can. And be able to reach out to you, of course. Yes, you can reach us at theweightlossconnection.net. Mm -hmm. That's it. The, the weight, the weight oh. loss connection net. Awesome, awesome, okay, well, the Tim Williams Project Band, of course, is um, someone that you all know. I just want to introduce this five-piece band to you, who are, who's generally my co-host, but they're actually just performing today. So Tim Williams is on bass, Dewan Wiley on drums, Marcel Lewis on the saxophone, Billy Odom, guitar, and Isaac Harris on keyboard. They're going to be playing for you today a song entitled Z. Calypso. Let's give it up for the Tim Williams Project Band.
On behalf of sponsors and friends of Kingdom One Live, congratulations on a successful first season. May blessings continue to follow in season two. Just as relationships evolve and grow, so should the relationship we have with God evolve and deepen. Pay attention to the little reminders God shares throughout the day. They are there for a reason. This devotion provides 52 reminders of God's love as he calls you into deeper relationship with him. With a donation of $30 or more, you will receive A Year Without Pants, by Terry King Hunt. Hello everyone. I have caught my breath. Yes, I have. <laughs> but I want to say thank you to our special guests today, Vicki and Carl Clark, who are married and the owner operators of the Weight Loss Connection Transformation Center. They've been married for 30 years and working together and still going strong. Um, 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20 says, do you not know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Your bodies are indeed the temple of a true and living God. There's so many advertisers out there today saying that being overweight really isn't a problem and that it impacts you mentally because of the emotions and just the worry of being overweight. But I beg the differ. Our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit, so therefore we had an, an obligation to make sure that we take care of our bodies, to present ourselves to God, holy and acceptable. I want to say thank you for watching. Be sure to weigh in on this topic. Go to our website, go to our Facebook, like us and subscribe on YouTube. And remember, let everything you do be done in love, love and blessings. Till next time.